Blah, who said we're going to lay off? Taped in front of a live studio microphone right here in Portland, Oregon, it's the Old Cousin Bigfoot Show. Musical guest, Paperhand Lincoln. Rapper and co-star, Type 2 Diabetes. Now here's your host, Old Cousin Bigfoot. It's Taco Tuesday, people, and you know what that means. It's Easter, and it's time to quit fucking around. You got kissy face. Kissy face. Since this is the first episode of Old Cousin Bigfoot, I'd like to start out with a prayer. Shh. If you'll join me. Oh, Lordy. One if by mouth and two if by seeds, Holy Mary and God of Thieves, Lois of Lane and Manic and Skywalker, half an eye and a glass of water. Amen. Well, I think, I think we've, we've all learned, learned our lesson. lesson. Camera two, I'm never gonna want that shot. Camera one. Alright. Q yard bit. Q yard bit. Three, two, one. And now it's time for Simon Says. You better golf uncle that up, boy. So this is Willem. Willem the Foe. Willem the Foe deer head. I've always liked the aesthetic of a taxidermied head uh, hanging up in a rustic cabin, but uh, I don't want to be haunted at night by the restless soul of Bambi's dad, so this piece solves that for me. Uh, Willem uh, here was once alive though, uh, the fabric's cotton once shone in the sun and the wooden back uh, was once a living tree that I bravely shot. You can see the bullet hole and how it allows for easy hanging. By the way, I'm telling you this telepathically so don't expect to see my lips move. The antlers and ears fold up and down for easy storage and uh, for adventures and expression. Uh, I've got other fabric patterns for this design uh, on deck. Uh, and if I ever get a decent place uh, to set up my woodworking tools again, I'll make you some guitars or some other goodies. But for now, let's have a word from our man in the field. This is old cousin Bigfoot. I'm here at the Ape Caves near Cougar, Washington. At the moment, I'm sitting down like in a little, little valley of uh, volcanic rocks all covered in moss. Found a little shady spot. I could relax. Well, the caves are cool up there. It's like a two and a half hour walk through there. And I didn't bring enough water. And uh, so I'm gonna do that another time. But I had a nice hike. Yeah, there was a sign that was explaining that the, uh, the ape caves, uh, they were formed by uh, apes uh, digging these caves out by hand uh, to try and escape evolution lessons. That's me signing off. A lot of people write to me and they say, uh, Old Cousin Bigfoot, um, can you explain space and time in a way that I can understand? And uh, uh, I think I can. All right, so here's like space out here and there's like time right there. It's like a clock. Cause you have to get in the glass to get it. That uh, that keeps track of what time it is. But out here, you know, you need to know like where the hell you are. Like don't bump into another car if you're trying to get into a parking space. Oh, just give me a second hand and a minute hand and an hour hand. I'll tell you what time it is. Time keeps on ticking, 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 ticking into the ticking. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking into the ticking. I'm gonna tick like a ticker into the tick, tick like a ticker. You know tick has got a tick. You know that time is a ticking, ticking. Man, that song's catchy, right? <laughs> 